I love this is Tron with Tronto's Truth again. And why I say again? Because you think when the world is going into a shit show, is one safe haven in the world my fucking country of Norway? Yes, Norway has been like a social utopia for some Americans, a communist hell for some Americans, but now the conservative assholes who have been watching too much Fox News also seems to win here in Norway. Yeah, for the right-wing party, a person now have suggested that Elon Musk should be nominated for the Peace Nobel's Peace Prize. Well, that's the same party who also nominated Trump and George Bush Jr. You, yes. Again, these powers are now getting more and more ahead in the polls. I don't know why, because what happened to Norway in the economic problems lately is basically because of the capitalism they are for. They are for free market, but they don't like the electricity prices to get too high because they don't want to sell the electricity to Europe. They don't want to sell the electricity to Europe and therefore the free market. They want the state to build every road, but no, don't get fucking don't even get me started. So conservatives are for everything about the free market, but when it goes wrong, it's everybody else's fault. My low wages is because of the free market. My need of a union is because of the free market. It's not my fault that the their free fucking market don't give them extremely cheap things all the time. When people demand for something the prices go up when people demand for more housing the prices go up when more people use gasoline as their own only resource to get get energy the price goes up but not according to the modern conservatives the reason why prices goes up is because the government the live media the socialists the communists even when they are in power that is the fucking only solution they can get this is where we are heading right now. We're going to write the right-wing government with two right-wing parties who don't agree about anything. The one, one, the one of them wanted Norway to join the European Union, as me, because they found out they are stronger together. The other one blames the European Union for everything. I think like totally closed borders and now immigrants will make the perfect society. The problem is, but Norway, we need immigrants or we don't can fill up all the jobs. What is their solution? Yes, just put every unemployed person into those jobs. That's not possible because we don't have enough education, educated people to do those jobs. And well, what do, what do they answer then? Yes, that's all the socialists fall, even when they set in government. So this is a fucking complicated bullshit and it's keeping going on and on and on. The problem is they're winning on it. It's like, Trumpism. You can say they can say anything, claim anything, and it's suddenly a fucking fact. We are in the most dangerous situation of the world right now, and I know some experts say we should not talk about it. We should we should be more positive, but I'm not very positive. Lunatics in Hungary, lunatics can win in the Netherlands, and lunatics can win in Germany. Yeah, you know when lunatics win in Germany. They usually win once and everyone loses for many years. This is the fucking situation right now. If Trump come back, this shit shall be even worse. I live in Bergen, Norway. It's a big military city. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna fucking do. We got the biggest navy base in Europe and or in Scandinavia up there. So I'm fucking moving. This wall need more places to work together than ever. But everyone being be the king of the fucking hill. That's the fucking problem. We we found out that was not a good idea in 1945. We have not learned anything from history in 2024. But we're gonna learn a hard fucking lesson in 2025. If we, if we are alive then. Enough of us. There was left. This was Tron. We Tron not tell the truth with another fucking negative message because there's no positive one ahead. Bye.